What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a second of the NBA's greatest duos. I think I did one of these with John Wall and Bradley Beal. Sorry, it wasn't John Wall, Bradley Beal. It was Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum. I did that back at the, either the start of December or end of November. I can't remember how long ago that was. And I'm gonna start this up because to be honest, I am running out of ideas. So I'm gonna be doing NBA's greatest duos. So leave in the comments if you guys have any duos you want me to do. And anyway, before this video starts, we get hit 300 likes, that would be insane. But anyway, now let's get on to the team. So we've got James Harden, the one, Q Rich, the two, Gerald Watts, the three, Hakeem and Ralph Sampson, the twin towers from the Houston Rockets, the four and five. The bench, we got Jimmy Butler, Devin Booker, Mello, Christoph Porzingis, and Hassan Whiteside. So Ralph Sampson and Hakeem Olajuwon were drafted number one in the NBA draft. Sampson in 1983, Hakeem a year later in 1984. Both of them ended up leading the Houston Rockets to the NBA Finals in 1986, but injuries really derailed Ralph Sampson's career. Ralph Sampson was an athletic 7'4 player that could shoot a little bit and could handle the ball. He's one of the greatest what-if stories in NBA history. If Sampson and Hakeem had both stayed uh, relatively injury-free, then you never know what would happen, how many rings the Houston Rockets would have, how many rings the Chicago Bulls would have, because I think the Bulls would have really struggled dealing with both of these guys, even with Michael Jordan. Would the bad boy Pistons have won any rings? Would LA have won as many? Because obviously, he's obviously the Rockets did get through the Western Conference in 1986 and did lose to the Boston Celtics big three. But these two guys were in their second and third years in the league respectively. You would have thought that at least they were going to win one championship. Hakeem won two. Samson's injuries really derailed his career and never won an NBA championship. So anyway, that's enough of their backstory. Now let's get on to the game. All right, so we're playing against not a very good team. Not a good team at all. Samson for mid. Green light. Let's go, Ross Samson. Ah, uh, but it's all good. Like, I'm really not taking this game seriously so far. I'm probably not going to take this game seriously unless he starts really getting a lead. And one, Ralph Samson. Let's go. Good pass, Akeem. Into Samson. Who jams on Zach Collins? Ralph Samson has all of my points so far, and Akeem has three assists. Akeem straight through the middle. And Akeem with the dunk. It's 9 3. And they're just literally just leaving Ralph Sampson wide open. They're doubling Hakeem and Sampson's killing them now. Okay, they're doubling. Leaving Ralph Sampson wide open for the layup. Sampson, 5 of 6 from the field. 11 points. Off 5 first quarter assists from Hakeem Olajuwon. Are they doubling this? No, they're not. They're only doubling on Hakeem. Sampson there with the board. Sampson there with another board. And Sampson finishes the layup. When you got the two of them guys in there, it's just too easy. Pro tip, if you're ever playing in silver, Josh Jackson, do not guard him. And Hakeem with the dunk. 58 driving dunk doing wonders right there. Midi. And Hakeem nails a smarter mid-range shot. 11 point lead. Alright, let's go straight to Hakeem. Oh, they just cleared out for him. And he jams it on Josh Jackson. 58 driving dunk is a lie. Hakeem jams on Josh Jackson right there. Straight by him. And Hakeem with the dunk. How... Where does that 58 driving dunk come from? Like... Doesn't make any sense to me anyway from playing with him. He dunks as well as any power forward or center I've used this year. And Hakeem's got him basket side. And Hakeem is taking over now. Dumping into Samson. Easy dunk, let's go. 70 for Alf. And that's a rage quit. So Ralph Sampson comes up huge and I am 17 points. All right, now we're on to game number two. Hopefully, hopefully it's not a God Squad, but hopefully it's a little bit better an opponent. Um, oh crap. All right, doable. It's doable to put up big numbers with these guys. Okay, that was not meant to happen. And that was definitely not meant to happen. A really nice finish by Ralph Sampson there. All right, Iverson. What I've learned from playing as Iverson is you force your opponent to run through Iverson. Like, they're the shots you want to give up. I know that one went in, but they're the shots you want to give up. Mid-range, Samson. And Samson nails mid-range shot. Force him to the basket with Iverson. That's fine. Force him to take a layup with Iverson. Don't let him get the rebound with Wilt, though. We gotta go a little bit hard in here. And one. Let's go, James Hart. And Samson's right there. AI is such a liability. Post hook. And Samson puts it in. That 16-inch uh, height difference making all the difference there. 
and Harden gets the dunk. If you want to spend 100k, buy a James Harden. <laughs> and James Harden's way under 100k as well. Alright, we are only one point ahead going to the second, which is not good. Not good at all. And we're now down. Oh, he blew it. Can someone get the board, please? Someone get on board. Out of bounds. Surely. No. Good steal. Go! Oh, my God, Porzingis. Mellow bump steal. This is the scrappiest, scrappiest game of mask. Game 2K I've ever played. And we just lost another bump steal. What is going on? And not just for me, for both of us. This is... This is not basketball. And another bump steal. Which was considered blocked for some reason. At least draw the foul, Mello. Thank you for putting it in, Carmelo Anthony. Ending the scrappiest 40 seconds of basketball there has ever been. That's a bad shot by Porzingis. And we get the board Butler. Straight out to our Porzingis. From mid. And he nails it. Pass it in. To white side. Who makes the layup? It's crazy how Wilt was like 100k for so long. And now white side is the better version of Wilt. And he's like 20k. Mid range. And Whiteside blows it. The Booker. Fake him up. Porzingis for three. And Porzingis nails it. Blow by him. And Jimmy Butler just jams it on him. Why use Allen Iverson when you can use a, basically half the shooting guards and small forwards in this game of point guard and do the exact same job? Spin him. Nice job, Whiteside. And Whiteside with the M1. Let's go, make it an eight-point game. If we can get to double digits by halftime, I am very happy. Now we can put on the other two guys, start second quarter. Or start the third quarter. Let's get to the basket. Four things in the corner for two. He misses, but Whiteside's there. And Whiteside puts it in. Let's go, ten-point game. You don't have to pass out of that. Otherwise, he's taking a very tough shot. And we're up ten at halftime. Now let's go and blitz them with Hakeem and Rob Sampson. I right, just stay in some way in front of him. Bump steal. Go to Hakeem. Hakeem to the basket. And Hakeem with the dunk. That's Hakeem's first points of the game after dominating in the last game. Hakeem's burned by them. And Hakeem makes a layup. Alright, 11 point game. Okay, we gotta take this shot. You can't leave Gerald Wallace that wide open. And you just kinda rebound Samson. Samson gets the board over Wilts and gets the dunk. Jam that. He's just too big, Ralph Samson. 7 foot 4. They're not getting anything over him. And Akeem puts in the nice shot. Let's go. Akeem and Ralph combined for 16. They haven't been as good this game. They've still been good, nonetheless. Oh, we left them open. That's good. And if, you, like, if you're not hitting them shots with Iverson, you're screwed. Into Samson. Makes a layup. Three ball Q Rich. Good wide open. And Q Rich misses a second good wide open shot in a row. Thank God we got Ralph Samson in there to get the board. But that's madness. Okay, James Harden celebrating. For three, Devin Booker. Green light. Let's go. It is a 18-point game going into the fourth. How many players on the floor are hot right now? That's what, um, is it Clutch Performer badge? Everyone on my team is hot. Except Jimmy Butler. Now let's see if I can get Jimmy Butler hot with a dunk here. But he gets swatted. And now Will Chamberlain's hot because he got a block. He's down 21 points and three of his team are hot. What the hell? This clutch performer badge is crazy. Good block, Porzingis. And Sam Scott's back door. Easy look. Easy dunk, I mean. Like, this guy's just playing dumb. Like, I don't even know what he's doing. Like, he's basically just running out the clock. Running out almost the whole shot clock. And trying to shoot, shoot crazy shots with tired players. Which is never going to work. Now on the corner for three. Good wide open. And he nails it. All right, 30 point game. And Melo's been the star. Samson's heating up. Make him up. And Samson jams it on Will to end the game for his 18th point of the, main, of the game. So let's have a look at team comparison. We got 65% compared to his 37. Let's have a look at the box score. Iverson, six of 19. As I always say, if you're running stuff through Iverson, you're gonna have a bad time. Like, if you're playing against anyone half decent, you're not gonna win. Six of 19 for Iverson. Um, but Melo had 20 and missed one shot. Ralph Sampson had 18 and didn't miss. These guys combined for 38 points on 17 of 18 shooting. Devin Booker was three of six. Hakeem didn't have the best game, three of uh, eight. 
and everyone seemed to shoot quite well in that game, except for Q Rich, who missed two wide open threes. So anyway, that's the video. This is one of the greatest wide if duos of all time, Akeem Olajuwon and Ralph Sampson. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you guys enjoyed this as a series and you want me to keep doing it, leave in the comments. If you guys like it, I will keep doing them. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.